Welcome to Train. My name is Chu. I am also Chu. And I am Train. And together, we are Choo Choo Train. <laughs> Paul or train. Well, are you guys ready for some amazing common sense media reviews? Seriously, having done some research, I was prepared for the lifeless animation and the plotting padded storyline. What I wasn't prepared for was unnecessary, frightening, gothic undertones of this supposed Christmas movie. Formulaic, inappropriate, and amateurish. Comparatively, Disney's Tinkerbell series is an <laughs> Oscar contender. What? <laughs> the creators of the series seriously needed a long rotation through studio Studio Ghibli in order to <laughs> learn how to create compelling animated characters and stories for children. Save your money for an actual Polar Express train ride in your community and share an experience with your children. Yeah, you ever just have a train track come through your subdivision? Like and subscribe. Lick this video. Let's watch the video. This is the first cutscene that's just part of the game. I breathe slowly and silently. <laughs> glad this movie is Looks like Ready Player One. You can't hear the ruffling of the sheets. Is it loud enough for you? Why does he have a hubcap? No, it's a symbol. That is a hubcap. There's a baseball <laughs> and a hubcap. This guy has stuff. Oh, I can't wait for this shot coming up where they're just gonna look through the paper and the paper's gonna be transparent. I thought it was always boring. Like, this isn't fun. I wanna watch Tim Allen just yell at his son. Your family was like, let's watch Schindler's List and then you got bored of the Polar Express. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna hold a flashlight. Why are they like, he moved, he's not allowed. Let's go in his room, cause he should immediately be asleep. I better not hear you breathing. Every movie's like this. Like the parents are just outside the door like, did he move? He used to stay awake all night waiting for Santa. He used to stay awake all night waiting for Santa. Don't disturb him. I am a mom. <laughs> Express train wouldn't wake him up now. He wanted to be really funny if an Express train, not a train, an, an express, express train. train would come and wake him up. Better watch out, your hubcap's trying to escape. Sound effects! That's not how physics works. Snow. But it has like a LifeX bulb on the front of it. <laughs> that Gamer train? The Pogger Express. The <laughs> Pogger Express? <laughs> no! Olive oil. This is Crazy Train, the movie, don't you know? Why to the North Pole, of course! This is the Polar Express! Are you coming? Going to the North Pole, of course! The North <laughs> Pole! <laughs> hey, conductor! Die. Hey! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Hey! Yeah, you! Do you know what kind of train this is? It's the Polar Express. Hey. Boom. There's like car people that are like super into that, and then there's train people. <laughs> and then like... there's tank people. RGB town! You don't have to wiggle your fingers for seven years. Oh no! What? Dude, my pocket, it doesn't work. I'm glad that ticket is like six times the size of his pocket, yet he pulled it out and it's <laughs> just like, yeah. That's weird. I thought you were supposed to be the last one. How do you know? I think they have it. I'm glad he didn't kick out the top of the train when he did a backflip. Oh, There's no cops like that, it's just... <laughs> it's like six feet from the other track and it's doing this to hold it on. Why wouldn't he just wait for her to come back? No, he's like, I need to climb. Feels like when you open up a DVD for the first time and there's just an unnecessary animation. <laughs> You're gonna feed the ticket to your birds? Yep. Please cough it up violently. I left my ticket right here on the seat. I left my seat right here under my ticket. Now it's gone. Yeah, he's gonna probably throw it right off the rear platform. It's standard procedure. It's standard procedure. We're gonna throw a kid off a train and they're gonna get sucked under the wheel and die. <laughs> Where if there's another near. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's just like near miss. <laughs> near miss. <laughs> I love this movie, but yes. Oh, 
he didn't jump and then he gets sucked back up to the other train. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Head Gravity's just going that way. <laughs> As they're going towards the edge of the flat earth, you know how this works, right? That's what's happening here. Exactly. As they get towards the North Pole, you know, the ice wall. Where'd they go? This one kid is just on the bougie car for no reason. If it looks like a 50s diner with no saturation. If that wall was like a half inch closer, his entire head would be... Oh, I'm so suspensed. The Pogger Express does not care for the lives of children. Hey! How is the snow just staying on the train? Yes. Is this something I can do for you? My name's Dale. I've been smoking <laughs> Paul Malls for 40 years, even though I'm only 27. I want pictures of Spider-Man! I am the king of the North Pole! Cool. This big lever here, that's the throttle. And then this little one here, that's the brake. Wow. I have the correct steam compression ratio for it to work as efficiently as possible, because I'm eight. And that rope is the whistle. It's the whistle. You can use it. This is not how light bulbs go. <laughs> He's in. like, oh, look, there's a screw in on this. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we're so well lit. <laughs> Hear me out. Instead of like doing active maintenance on the train at full speed, why don't you just stop the train and then do it? No, they're on a tight schedule. Therefore, all safety rules are just <laughs> OSHA's gone. like it's Christmas Eve. Christmas without the Polar Express arriving on time. I feel like in real life, if an animal ran in front of the train, it would just be sauce. There's like a maybe a bone left. I mean, to be fair, that's what the thing on the front of the train is for. So by that logic, that thing was attached to nothing but just the bolt. It wasn't controlling anything, it was just there for fun. He hit that vent so hard the air pressure left and it went... <laughs> <laughs> 179, oh, 179 degrees? Yes. 179 degrees is just straight! <laughs> Actual circle graphs start here and go this way, so they're just gonna turn around. They were gonna go over this anyway. Yeah. Like, what else were they gonna do? Based on that hill, which is roughly this angle here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trains don't bend. Yeah, they're not locked to the tracks like a roller coaster. No, that yeah. would just break apart and die. That yeah. looks yeah. like something I made in Planet Coaster once. <laughs> no. So why did they have train tracks that apparently led into a lake? Yep. Like, it wasn't even a bridge, it was just, here's a lake, lake. you're gonna die. Is this yeah. him, the squirrel from Ice Age? She's like, hey, I'm gonna crack an entire glacier because I moved. I need to put this nut in the ice. God. You can't do separate wheels on a train, they're yeah. connected! You do realize that having independent axles on a train, if you made the slightest error, the whole thing was going to go... Fly tickets! Get in the train! This movie is just... No! <laughs> This is the mountain I would draw as a child, and I thought every mountain looked like that, and then I went to a mountain and it was just a bump. I was up on the roof making my rounds, but I slipped on the ice myself. I was up in there on Christmas Eve making my rounds. On the yeah. roof, you know, how you know. conductors work. Yeah, you know, how trains work. Choo choo. It's a new concept the boss came up with. Who is the boss? Santa. Dad. God. Holy Dad. Trinity. <laughs> I'm glad they just shut him in the creep room. And we don't need this child. He's only weighing the plot down. This scene is so weird though because it's just the ghost like, don't believe in Santa. I'm dead and I'm mad you don't believe something. I'm back. A bout of indigestion. Indigestion? You need a Tums? Wishing on a star. It's you wish. Oh wait, that's copyrighted. Oh guys, they're singing royalty-free music from Ep Epidemic Sound. What a coincidence that we own the oh, rights to the song. Listen to the lo-fi beat. There should be elves. Where are the elves? The elves are not out because of COVID-19. Well, they're gonna crash into that tree. <laughs> it's time for 918. It's the book burning. Christmas just doesn't work out for me. Look. I don't know if Christmas is gonna work out for you or not. Don't be sad, there's too much sad in my train car. Go be sad Jeez. somewhere else. Just stop being sad. You're gonna be okay. 
I'm glad they just have a death switch on the track. It gets hit when you just touch it. Take a break! Hey, they, they told us to take a break. See you later. Yo. How about a nice good hot cup of joe? How about Mountains. a nice cold can of LaCroix? I would rather be hurtling towards my death in a caboose than think about drinking LaCroix. <laughs> this video is sponsored by LA Crocs. Die! Die. They have the action essential spark. Bzz. We're gonna crash! Die. We're spinning! Yeah! Kansas. <laughs> oh no, we're spinning and I'm gonna like, turn us in After Effects just on a 2D flame. Ew. They didn't put anything in the middle there. They were like, well, let's just do the train tracks. That way, if you ever need to do any kind of maintenance, you have to be <laughs> on the train. It's because it's a magic train and Santa never needs maintenance. We're lost. We are breathing. We are now walking. No, we're not. We're sitting down. We're spinning. Did you put your feet up on the table? I wanted to. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> What are you doing stopping my fun coaster <laughs> and infiltrating In my, my lair? lair? I'm glad they just traveled through the bank canisters. <laughs> Somebody press the YouTube go button. <laughs> <laughs> you can't wait for that to be an LAX baggage claim. <laughs> <laughs> Is it you guys throwing hammers into the same shoot at Kroger? <laughs> <laughs> I still imagine that guy just yelling, WHY?! I think I know what it is! My very <laughs> first guitar that I got, my mom just hid it in her closet, and I found it one day, and then they wrapped it, and it said, From Santa, and I'm like, <clears throat> And that was the day I learned that Santa still exists, and he lives in the North Pole. I, uh, I felt bad, because my mom asked me to get something out of her closet, and then there was just a cyber power PC in there, but they still don't know that I know about that. Until now, I didn't tell you guys, because I knew it meant a lot. Missile knows where it is. <laughs> I'm going to say I was firing off ICBMs from the North Pole. <laughs> I can't wait to put the funny fart sound effect over this. So it's like, <laughs> what did they have to tie this before? That would have just cut his face <laughs> off. No. Yeah, they just no. ascend. Aren't those bells the most beautiful sound? Brendan, do you hear the bells? Do you believe? No. The audience believes. It's been one week since you looked at me. He believes now. I'm a believer. I believe. Gamer whip. They went home. He opens the yeah. present and it's the bell, it's the bell and he can he hear, hear it again. And then he's like. And then it's it. just Inception where the spindle top spins forever. That was a movie? Mary. Was this video. All a dream? No, it was not, which is why you should share it with your friends, because you cannot share dreams. You should also join our Discord. We're streaming every weekday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You can find us there. We also have a merch store. It has Hi. stuff that we say on it. It's called Spencer's Gifts. You should check it out. Don't go to the back. Have a day. Let me give you a Christmas moment will fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any